your next greatest evolution will come on the back of your painful emotions. What I'm suggesting to you is that the greatest source of your personal power, of the power on your team, in your organization as a whole, and in our communities, is dealing with the full range of human emotion. So we are living in some uncertain times. Plenty of people think that they have been painfully uncertain times. And so as a neuropsychologist, I'm thinking a lot about what happens to our behavior in conditions of uncertainty and where does that uncertainty come from? Obviously, there's been a lot that's happened in the past several months, but even before that, the future of work has looked very uncertain in large part because of the rapid advancement of technology. So the machines have given us a future of more. More information and more data and more speed and more opinions and more ways to do it and more places to do it. I mean, you guys, we are right now renegotiating the very definition of work. That's a pretty radical shift. And in this race against the machine, there are some incredibly important, provocative, and I would go so far to say existential questions before you. So the machines have been sending warning shots to us, right? They have said, hey guys, we are faster than you. We are more efficient than you. In some ways we are more productive than you and we are more logical. I mean, my goodness, if you had a language of just zeros and ones, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, I would certainly hope that you would be logical. But the machines are not, they don't do well with ambiguity. They don't do well with nuance or adventure or creativity, inference, and they certainly don't do well with human emotion. So you as a leader at this important crossroads in world history, not to be too dramatic or anything, can decide, do you wanna take a trajectory that races the machines, that pushes productivity to its ultimate edges, that lives at the margin, that forces human bodies to work through pain? I know, because I know the brain, that doing that in a sustained way will lead to exhaustion and depletion and ultimately behavioral paralysis for you. And subsequently it will cause behavioral paralysis and confusion and the people who look to you. I would propose to you that the wisest thing we can do at this moment is to take a radical turn and embrace the full range of human emotion. I am specifically talking about the full range because we don't need more about the happiness and the good times and the connectivity and all the things that work, not because they are not important. They are incredibly important, but they drive themselves. The places where we get stuck, the places where we have dysfunction, the places where we need fixing is only in the pain. And so the wisest leaders are the leaders who can hold the tension of the rising. That know not just that pain is going to come, that pain is going to enter the team through the form of anxiety or stress or irritation or rejection or frustration. I could go on and on and on. There's a million synonyms. But they know what to do with the pain so that people can rise. 